This might be the hardest rebuild that I've attempted so far in FM23. We're going to be heading to the second division of Germany to try and take a side that's been stuck there for a few years now, back to the Bundesliga and hopefully to some kind of glory. That's right, today we are rebuilding Hamburg in Germany. This side is full of history and there's going to be a lot of work to be done with this squad. We're going to take a look around and then manage this team for five seasons, only making transfers to try and take them right to the top of the Bundesliga yet again. Now I know nothing about this club in terms of the players that we've got and whatnot so that's going to be a hard part of the rebuild in itself so if I do sell your favourite player I do apologise but it's going to be a real challenge today. Before we start though if you guys could keep showing your support and smashing that like button for me it would really mean a lot. You've done it on the Sunderland video and on the Everton one and those videos have blew up more than the usual ones on the channel so keep hitting that like button for me and if you're part of this percentage of people or this percent of people which whichever way I need to point, that aren't currently subscribed to the channel but are watching, I'd massively appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Only 50% of you guys watching aren't subscribed and if that percentage of people did hit the subscribe button, we would see our subscriber numbers nearly double. So it'd be massive if any of you guys could hit that button. Comment down below who you'd like to see rebuilt next. And with that being said, let's get right into it. So here we go, Hamburger, they are a side in the second division of Germany currently, but this isn't where they've always been. This team have won a Champions League title, were runners up in the 80s as well, so could have had two Champions Leagues to their name. They've got six Bundesliga trophies, one European Cup Winners' Cup, runners up in the Europa League, runners up in the Super Cup. This is a side that's used to winning trophies, and it's very unusual for them to be where they are now, which is in the second division, always being close to going back to the top, but never quite making it. Fourth place in their first year down in the second division. That happened again on their second season and their third season. The fourth season, they came third and lost out in the playoffs. And this year, they could go up again, but at the time of recording, they're in the second leg of their playoff match to potentially go up to the Bundesliga. And I believe they're currently losing 3-0. And as far as I'm aware, I think during this season, they were pretty strong favourites to go up at one point, and then it all went wrong, and they found themselves in the playoff position. If anyone's a Hamburg fan, please correct me if I'm wrong on that. But this side is definitely a division lower than where it should be. Now, how far we can go with this team, I'm not too sure. Toppling Bayern Munich in five years, focusing only on the transfers might be hard, but we'll do our best. We're predicted to come first in the division this season. So if we don't go up, we might feel some pressure from the board, but our facilities are good. We've got a huge 57,000 capacity stadium, a loyal fan base, and the staff situation at the club for a second division team is very strong. When it comes to our playing staff, some of our best players are these guys here. A lot of players on a similar level, no real star by the looks of it but we've got the likes of Robert Glatzel a striker that looks like he could be quite dangerous for us in the second division Jonas Mathur also looks like a talented player wanted by some Bundesliga level clubs and a few other handy talents around the place and if we look in terms of potential we've got Mario Vuskovic a Croatian centre-back who looks really talented and can hopefully take us up into the Bundesliga and develop into a real strong Bundesliga player at some point Andras Nemeth as well he looks like he could be pretty good the Hungarian striker but this isn't a team that's really blessed with players in terms of the age range we have got a fairly young squad actually and that will be of a big benefit to us but I'm not quite sure this squad is you know if we did go up it definitely wouldn't survive in the Bundesliga in my opinion but for the first season obviously Hamburg have already done their business in real life so we're going to simulate the first year without making any transfers to see where we end up as I just mentioned in real life they got the third place playoff spot how good we'll do compared to that I'm not sure but let's take a look let's simulate the first year and see how we get on and it's not been a very good start at all I mentioned this might be a hard rebuild and this is way further down in the table than I thought we would be fifth place currently in this league season we haven't gone up to the Bundesliga we finished in fifth place which is actually worse than they've done in recent seasons on 55 points really is not good enough the DFB Pokal the German Cup we were knocked out in the third round and I wouldn't be surprised if the board were considering potentially getting rid of me here but it looks like they're going to give us another season they wanted us to gain automatic promotion that hasn't happened next year they were looking for us to build on promotion to the Bundesliga. If we keep our job, we really need to go up next season because it's not looking great for us. Um, did we have any standout performers or anything like that to really build from? Something to learn? Well, it's good to see Glatzel here did manage to score quite a few goals and he's clearly a very good player for the second division. 23 goals in 34 appearances. 
Maybe it's a tactical issue. Maybe the vertical tiki taka isn't the way to go. I haven't really set on a tactic just yet. This is just what I've gone for for the first season. But now it's time to really kick on with our rebuild. We've got about 11 million pounds to spend and about 30 grand in the wage budget. We've lost one of our better players on a free deal to Sassuolo. He didn't want to extend his contract, but we really need to kick on from here. Else we risk potentially losing our job. There's a lot of work to be done. Hopefully we can get the transfers right. In terms of outgoings, the only player that we lost was a pre agreed deal to sell this man David Liel Costa to Wolfsburg out in the first division we only got £87,000 for him so really nothing to know in terms of sales a lot of players contracts expired but we didn't really sell anyone for any decent fees coming in though I feel like we've made some good business now I haven't been looking for the best wonder kids in the world or anything like that I try and keep these transfers realistic and go only off players that my scouts bring back to us and one player that we found whose contract was expiring to pick up on a free deal was this man, a Bosnian 30-year-old with 40 international appearances by the name of Goiko Kimirot. Now he has been playing for Standard Liège out in the Belgian divisions where he's played a lot of football, looks like a handy player and he comes from a top division in Belgium to the second division in Germany and I'm hoping he'll slot right into our team. A consistent performer valued at around £4 million to get him for free. I feel like that will work out nicely. Either a good player for us now or if we do get promoted, he'll go down to, you know, like a squad depth level player. I think he's just an extra body to have in the middle of a park. Jason van Dooyven has been signed on a loan deal to potentially provide some competition up front or maybe we'll go for a two up top formation. The Dutchman is on loan from PSV Eindhoven out in the Eredivisie, a talented player who's only 18 and has got plenty of years to get better yet. We're probably going to get one season out of him and then lose him. I don't feel like we've got the money to splash it all on one singular player, but he's very talented. He's someone that I spoke to on Instagram once after making a video about about him on FM Scout a few years ago and he's kicking on in this FM save and hopefully he'll be a great player for us. Another loanee signing is coming from Porto. We have picked up Andre Franco, a Portuguese 25-year-old who they signed from Estoril prior out in the Portuguese divisions. Now he had a good season for Porto, although saying that, that was only in three appearances. But when he played, he looked decent, clearly not good enough there to start just yet. So we've got him on loan. I feel like he could be a good player for us. Very talented when it comes to the technical attributes and if we do end up playing a number 10 he would be our best player by far in that position and hopefully he'll give us that extra quality to play some lovely football in the second division and start to dominate matches and then our only signing that cost us money it's Nicholas Koza who we've signed from Wolfsburg they signed him from Montpellier not too long ago we paid two million pounds for the French left back slash centre back he's an option in both positions 24 years of age room to get better he looks way older than 24 but apparently he he is not. I feel like he could be a great signing for us and could develop with the team as we hopefully end up getting promoted. I think he's a good player. Wolfsburg don't deem him Bundesliga level yet and they've decided to sell him on, but maybe we'll get some luck out of him. We're happy to have him on board and he definitely adds something to this team. If we do carry on with a 4-2-3-1, our team is going to look something like this. Our best goalkeeper is this man, Daniel Hoya Fernandez. At right back, our options are Ambrosius, a Ghanaian right back. Also, we have a player called Moritz higher at left back we have Nicholas Koza who we've just signed and Miro Muchheim at centre back our biggest talent is still Vuskovic and then in the midfield we've got Ludovic Rice who is one of our most talented players who I haven't spoke about yet a Dutch 23 year old he's wanted by Bundesliga clubs but we're going to try and hang on to him and hopefully have him as a key part of our midfield Bakary Jatta is a very powerful promising winger that we've got from Gambia three appearances for the national team already his strength is the fact that he's just super quick and even though he's got no technical ability, we'll be hoping that physical ability is enough to get us over the line. Up front is where we're probably the strongest with Van Dooyven, Glatzel, Konigsdorfer and Nemeth. So maybe we can figure out a formation that has two up front. Currently our best 11 though looks like this. And apologies for any pronunciations. It's Fernandez in goal, Heyer at right back with Koza at left back, Vuskovic and Schnallu at the back with Reese, Benez, Jatta, Franco, Dompe and Glatzel making up the rest of the team. This side for me is still definitely nowhere near Bundesliga level. I'd argue probably like three players in this first 11 
are good enough for the Bundesliga. So we're going to have to try and think of something if we do get promoted. But that's a long way off just yet. So let's simulate the first year. I might change the tactic. I'll let you know if I do. But hopefully our second season will be better than fifth place. If not, we're probably out the door already. And thank God we've actually made it out of a second division of a Bundesliga on the second time that we've been asked to do so. Although saying that, it wasn't very uh, convincing, I would say. I mean, we finished in third place on 66 points, way away from Bochum and Heidenheim, who have gone up as the top two teams in the automatic positions. We ended up going into a playoff match where we faced off against Mines. We lost WhatsApp 3-1 in the first leg by the looks of it. But then in the second leg, an insane comeback led to a 4-0 victory that's got us over the line. We've actually ended up in the first division now. We're going to the Bundesliga and there's going to be a lot of work to be done. But you'll see one man has really helped us this year. We won't be able to keep him, but we should definitely talk about him. It's Jason Van Doeven. Now we switched our tactic midway through through the season to be a two striker formation and I asked the assistant manager to play Glatzel and Van Doeven as a partnership as often as possible when we were simulating ahead and those two together have done great 13 goals for Glatzel 33 for Van Doeven you can see just how good he's became already and he's going to go back to PSV and be a regular starter for them which goes to show you how lucky we were to have him for the season second division was clearly too easy for him he's done great for us and now thankfully we've ended up getting to the first division if we look look at our best performers it is those two strikers Jata also doing well City Mott who he got from Standard Liège also had a very good season which was good to see as did Andre Franco when he was on the pitch also Nicolas Coza did pretty well not amazingly well and this tactic I feel like is one that we can build around going forward it's aggressive Gagan press football but also it's very attacking with two inside forwards two strikers and hopefully that will lead to a lot of goals and chances created we just need to make sure we recruit the right kind of attack Hackers for the Bundesliga because I mean we're going to get scored on a lot so we need to score as many goals as possible. Let's see if we can make the right sign-ins in season three to stay up in the first division. After our transfers the game seems to rate us pretty highly here. It's suggesting we'll finish 14th place which is good to see in our first season in the Bundesliga because the two teams that got promoted with us are apparently going to get straight relegated according to the odds. So it looks like we've done a great job here in terms of our transfers to be a team that could actually stay up but let's see what we did. First, we had two outgoings. The first one is Sebastian Schnollo, whose name I can't pronounce. It's probably a good job that he is leaving. A 30-year-old German who played a big part in our last two seasons has moved to Wolfsburg for 1.2 mil. Hopefully, he'll do well there. He's going to be a squad player. But we took the cash and we reinvested it. I didn't really see a place from in the team anymore with the players that we bought in. So we've decided to let him go. And then we started with our incomings. And I feel like we've done some great business here to really sign some talented players for minimal fees to help the team before we get into them though if you are enjoying don't forget to smash the like button and let me know down below who you want to see rebuilt next any support is massively appreciated guys i really do mean it but yes here is our sign-ins for season three davy classen comes through the door the experienced dutch international who's played before in the bundesliga for Werder bremen he's been to ajax to everton and was once a player that could command a 20 million pound fee so we'll be hoping he can live up to the hype here he hasn't really played too much for ajax over the last few seasons but he comes in as a strong leadership option an older head to guide some of our younger players plenty of talent in his locker but it's those mental attributes that we'll be relying upon to get him for free I feel like is a great deal he's a goal scorer as well can play across a bunch of positions I think he'll be a great sign in for our team we then signed another player on a free going for Andrea Zivkovic former football manager wonder kid he was playing out for Pawok out in Greece where he's had two very good seasons now is available as a free agent having been to Partizan and Benfica I feel like this is a great talent to get for free whether he's Bundesliga level I'd argue maybe he's just about relegation Bundesliga level player at this point but he's still a good talent able to play on the left and right as an inside forward on that right hand side he could do a great job one of our more technically gifted players and I think he's going to be a real gem for us on that right flank another free signing to add to our team that I think is great value for money is this man Philip Mouane who is a right back but could also at a push play on the left he's good with both of his feet but the Austrian 30 year old was available on a free having played two seasons and played well and consistently for PSV in the Eredivisie, one of the top sides in their division. He's a great player, lots of work rate, and in terms of bombing up that right-hand side, he could be someone that really suits our team down to the ground. And a player that we've signed in a previous rebuild before that came up again on my scout reports, I usually try and avoid signing the same players, but for him, 
kind of had to make an exception. We needed a centre back. The scouts reported on him. He looked great. He was available on a free. This is Jean Paul Van Heck, who we've signed from Brighton on a free transfer. He's got plenty of ability. He comes in as our best centre back, so it goes to show you why I had to get that deal over the line. There just wasn't that many options outside of him, but he's already valued at around 10 million. He's a star player on high wages, but hopefully it'll be worth it because he is very talented. And I really do think if he helps sustain the Bundesliga, these wages are going to look like a really small fee compared to staying up. But of course, we did sign some players for real money. Two players came in to talk about still. One is Javi Ontiveros, who we signed from Villarreal's B-side, where he's had two very good seasons for them. He's came in for 1.6 million. It's a gamble for sure. He has played top-level football beforehand, not too much of it. Then Villarreal picked him up and played him a hell of a lot. And then he just kind of fizzled out a little bit, ended up in their B-teams after a few loans, and we were able to sign him here. A technically gifted player, he's going to be cutting in on that left-hand side on his right foot with Zivkovic on the other flank. I think together we've definitely improved the two wings now with him coming in. And with Van Dooyven leaving, we needed someone to fill in in terms of scoring goals, and we went for the man that we signed in our Sunderland rebuild not too long ago, Victor Jokerez of Coventry. Now, much like Coventry in real life, he didn't end up getting promoted to the Premier League, but he's been scoring goals for fun. He's as good of a pressing forward as he could want with 18 work rate. And even though we signed him before in a previous rebuild again, our options were quite limited. Now, his contract was expiring and we could have got him for free, but he didn't want to negotiate a contract with us. And I felt like when he was a free agent, everyone would have gone for him and we wouldn't have had a chance. So I decided to jump the gun a little bit, pay some cash to Coventry, 1.3 million, to at least get him to negotiate with us. And we managed to get him over the line. Maybe we could have got him for free, but I wasn't risking it. I knew which man I wanted and we decided to sign him. I'm hoping he will adapt to the Bundesliga very easily to Swede. He's their international striker. He can also play play on that left flank and if we now look at our best 11 it's really starting to come together now whether this is a Bundesliga level team yet I don't know but we're going for Fernandez in goal still the Portuguese national has been solid for us Mwene and Van Heck two new signings coming in with David and Koza since this rebuild started David the Nigerian centre-back has came on a lot and hopefully he can compete for that centre-back spot apparently Vuskovic and Rice are the two best midfielders although I'd argue that he'll be playing centre-back and this will be Davy Klassen then we've got Zivkovic. Apparently Jata is still good enough to get in the team, but then it's Jokerez and Glatzel who stays with us. He might be 30, but he's still clearly a threat because of that strong physical presence that he is. And hopefully this team can stay up in the Bundesliga. So let's see how we get on in season three. And then hopefully if we stay up, we can start to push on a little bit more. And we have had what I would class as a hugely successful season for a first year back. We were asked to only avoid relegation. The media had us predicted in 14th place for two teams that got promoted promoted with us have been relegated but us Hamburg have managed to finish in 10th place on 43 points which is not too bad at all we were still quite a way off of that sixth place fifth place spot but it's not a huge difference and it's certainly something where we'll be able to catch up on those teams by and though and the top teams there are really far away from us but still it's been a pretty good year from us 10th place and a DFB Pokal semi-final where we lost to Wolfsburg unfortunate yes but we've done very well to get even that far if you have a look we got beat 4-1 it was a deserved loss on the day but it's been a very good year from us some good wins along the way as well beating Schalke 5-0 that would have been a great day Jokerez, Glatzel and Nemef getting the goals there and in terms of individual performances it's been another great year I mean Glatzel has done so well a player that we had in the second division of the Bundesliga has continued to score goals for fun this season he got 17 goals in the first division which is insane and free assists considering we were a relegation level team that's really helped us stay up here and Jokerez also contributing with 16 goals himself Nemeth getting five as well Jatta ending up with 10 goals yes he might not be the best finisher in the world but with that pace it doesn't really matter to him Zivkovic also had a good year on that right hand side getting 13 assists and four goals with his crossing ability I imagine and Glatzel was having a field day up top with him floating the ball in but it's been a great season for so many of our players Ontiveros also doing well although he played a lot from the bench Van Heck having a great season he's looking like he's developing into a top level player here and I really couldn't be happy 
happier with how this progress is going. I knew it would be hard for us. I actually thought by the third season of this rebuild, we'd be further along in where we're going. But after not getting promoted in the first year, this is all we could have asked for, really. First season in the Bundesliga, you want to stay up. And now hopefully we can start to push on with a team that's starting to develop really nicely. We've been given £18 million to spend and 18000 in the wage budget. Hopefully, if we can move that around a little bit, we can make some great signings for this team in season four. Again, we've looked more to some older players to help our team out with Bundesliga experience instead of looking for those wonder kid players. Our scouts seem to like these kind of signings and we have picked up Rikedli Bazor, a 28-year-old Dutch midfielder from AZ Alkmaar on a free. After three very good seasons for them, he's also been to Vitesse Arnhem and Utrecht, but at one point he was a big money signing for Wolfsburg from Ajax, where he looked very promising at one point. Comes in as someone that can play a variety of roles for us on a free deal. You can't go wrong with this. A former Dutch international, maybe he'll get another call up if he plays well enough for us. And we continued with signing Dutch players. This time it's Wout Veghorst. Now don't laugh at that. I know a lot of people will say he's a Man U player and he's flopped up front for them and he's rubbish and whatnot. But this is a player that in terms of the Bundesliga, just scored goals for fun for Wolfsburg. Obviously went to Burnley, didn't quite work out in real life. Also didn't work out for Man U in real life. But in the FM world, he then went back to Burnley in the championship and pretty much got them promoted. Then came to the Premier League and scored 17 goals in 37. So he's clearly a very talented physical striker. He works hard as well. And I think as competition for Glatzel up front, Wout Veghorst here, it's a great signing in my eyes. Free deal, a player that fits us perfectly in terms of what we're after. All we need him to do is score goals. Whether people make fun of him whilst he's doing it, I don't care. If he can stick that ball in the back of the net, Veghorst is going to be a Hamburg hero. We decided to go for a new goalkeeper as well this year, signing Uruguayan international 27-year-old Santiago Mele. He's joined from Wanderers, a team out in Uruguay. Uh, they're called Monteviedo Wanderers Football Club, if you want the full name. And he's been playing there for a few years and doing well. We've signed him for a million. Again, another one that I'd never really heard of. Our scouts recommended him and I thought, you know what? He looks about right for us. He looked better than our current goalkeeper. He's good competition, not on the highest wages in the world, and we didn't pay too much for him. He's got a few years left before he hits his prime, so hopefully he'll be a great player for us. And on top of that, his eyebrows are fantastic. And then for one of our biggest signings so far, we've gone for a young Danish right back by the name of Elias Gellert. We've signed him from Union Berlin, paying a little bit of a discount on what they signed him for from Copenhagen a few years ago. A talented young right back with potential to get better. We needed that in the right back position. It really wasn't our strongest area. And I'm hoping Jalert here can eventually become a good Bundesliga level player. It will take a while, but he's certainly got it in his locker. And now if we look at our best 11, has anything changed? Are we still the same team? Well, it looks like the answer to that is pretty much yes. No one new really comes in other than Veghorst coming up front and Jokerez here being pushed out to the inside forward position. And I don't totally hate that. I think he's got goals in him. So is Zivkovic, so is Glad that's all we've seen that and Weghorst as well I really feel like he could do a job this isn't the sort of way I usually go with rebuilds in terms of signing more experienced players but I think it's going to do the job for us here in the Bundesliga another mid-table finish would be great maybe then we can finish season five with a flourish and go hopefully for a European spot but let's see what we can do in season four first and it's came a year early than I thought it would but we've actually made it into European competition getting a Europa League spot with 51 points which was joint with Hoffenheim and FC Cologne there and also Leipzig weren't too far behind finishing on 48 points not too far off as at all we finished on one goal difference as well a bit lucky to be in the position we're in but we finished seventh we've got a Europa League place and the Pokal let's not talk about it we did not do very well at all but it's been a really good season for us more wins and losses this team is really starting to become a Bundesliga level team it looks like we're here to stay now after another good season and the Europa League is going to mean big things for us. It's given us a budget of £35 million, which hopefully we can spend on some top talent now. And if we have a look at how our team performed this season, then you'll see that I wasn't crazy because even though it's not incredible numbers, in 21 appearances, Veghorst has put away 16 goals. Now he hasn't been fit all year. Obviously he would have played a lot more than this, but when he has played, Veghorst has been on fire. His return to the Bundesliga has gone perfectly. And I feel like, you know what? It's worked out well. I don't even care what anyone wants to say. Veghorst here has been great. Glatzel still chipping in with goals, although 
Starting to look like his career might be running towards its end now. Not as good as previous seasons, but still a very talented player for sure and someone that can help us out. Jokerez still doing well for us at the age of 27. A solid Bundesliga player now. This year he did play on the left for most of his games. Vuskovic here is really starting to become a top level centre back, a really consistent performer as well. That's something that's of great benefit to us. He's great in the air, a nice passer of the football. He is a great centre back and a perfect partner to Jean Paul Van Heck, who has become a real star for us and is now wanted by some clubs. I don't know who it's going to be. Let's have a quick look. There you go. Wanted by Atletico Madrid as one of the sides that want to sign him. So clearly a very talented player and it's been a great season. A lot of these players as well have been with us since right at the start. It hasn't been a complete overhaul like normal. I mean, take Nemef here. He's been here from the beginning. So is Jota and Glatzel. It's great to see all of these players are contributing to the first team. But now it's time for our final season. Can we take Hamburg to glory, get some trophies or at least have a nice Europa League run. Let's see what we can do after making some signings. We start off by bringing Omari Hutchinson on a free to the club. Now he's signed from Derby where he was at having come from Chelsea where he actually played three times as a starter in the current season that we're seeing in real life. So clearly something happened at Chelsea and he was able to get some first team opportunities and whenever he's been called upon in his whole career he has done very well. He's been doing it in the championship for Derby most recently. His contract was up. Premier League clubs were in for him. We went in also and we've managed to steal the Englishman on a free could also represent Jamaica as well but he's got great physical attributes very quick and direct but also very technically gifted with a technique first touch and dribbling that you would want from a wide player he can also play as a number 10 I think he could be a real diamond in the rough that we found in the second division of England we then improved our depth at left back by signing Milos Kerkez a Hungarian left back from AZ Alkmaar the Eredivisie seems to be the place we've gone for for shopping in this region build and we have signed a great player here I think for completely free to pick him up I think it's a good deal good going forward good defending a nice depth option at left back behind Koza and hopefully both of them can help raise each other's game by competing for that spot we improved our defensive midfield options by signing the uber talented Julian Weigel the German international is 30 years old at this point running his career down but he's still got something to prove and we have bought him in from Borussia Mönchengladbach for only 2.5 million I think this could be a steal he's great physically technically and also very mentally gifted in terms of a deep line playmaker there aren't too many better out there a consistent player as well Weigel here I really think can take our midfield to a whole nother level now that he's in and the most expensive and easily the most ludicrous signing of this whole rebuild was the final one of this whole thing Romeo Lavia of Southampton we've managed to get him for 20 million pounds he's been playing in the championship for Southampton for two years and has done a very good job of it being one of the best players in that division managed to get 32 Belgium caps whilst playing in the second division of England again another play that we've bought in against a lot of competition he comes in as a great young talent with room to get better 22 years of age this man in real life is probably going to go for 50 60 million to the likes of Chelsea or back to Manchester City but in this world he's came to Hamburg he's going in the base of our midfield alongside Julian Weigel and I think he is an absolute steal of a player for 20 mil now originally when we took over this side this was a team struggling to get out of the second division now we're a consistent team in the first division of Germany getting Europa League football for the first season in a long time and our final best 11 looks like this Mele is in goal with Gellert Muscovich who's been here from the start with Heck and Koza Lavia and Weigel at the back with Amari Hutchinson, Victor Jokerez, Vout Veghorst and Robert Glatzel who despite everything is still going to start as one of our best players up front this season. Hopefully he keeps scoring. If we were to continue this rebuild I would look for a younger striker about now but I think this team is ready to go for our final season. How can we do? Can we get any silverware? Can we get a Champions League spot or at least stay in the Europa League again? Let's see what we've got. And you know what? I think that's been a pretty successful season. We finished in seventh place again this time losing far less games and getting 52 points more goal difference than before as well but unfortunately it's only enough for a conference league spot this year but fear not I definitely think we can push into that fifth place spot and start to compete with these teams right at the top of the Bundesliga but it's been a good Bundesliga season the Pokal we can forget about but the Europa League we did 
pretty well. We're only getting knocked out by the team that went on to win it in Chelsea. If we have a look in the league phase, we did pretty well finishing as the third best team behind Hoffenheim and PSV, not even losing a game and winning seven matches, including a win against Juventus. Sporting Club de Portugal, we beat as well on Fenerbahce. This would have been a great time to have been a Hamburger fan. We then went all the way into the round of 16, where we knocked out Powock in a 3-2 aggregate match. Then we got to the quarters and Chelsea knocked us out pretty convincingly, my Mind you, but they did go on to win the competition. Considering where we started off, we've done very well. The youth recruitment is at a very high level as well now. We've improved the training facilities and we're now a team that's predicted to finish mid-table in the Bundesliga, far exceeding any expectations that anybody had of us this year, finishing in seventh when we predicted to come 12th. It's been a great year overall and who were our best performers? It looks like it's going to be Jokerez with 22 goals this season. Jata ends up getting 15. What an underrated player he's been for this whole thing, consistently doing well for us. And those physical attributes must be absolutely killing it for him in-game. Weghorst chipped in with 20 goals, Hutchinson got 12, and Glatzel looks like his time is up now as a player for us. But he's been phenomenal, a great servant to the team, and is easily the hero of this rebuild. Still scoring goals when we ask him to. We've still got Ludovic Rice as well. He's been here from the start, playing consistent football for us. It's been a brilliant season, and we have created a side here that could definitely become regulars in the Europa League in the Bundesliga. I mean, look at that team. Absolutely stacked with talent. Very happy with this. Let me know what you thought of the rebuild in the comments down below. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.